I'm really tired of using ChatGPT in the browser. Are you? Do you wish you could use it on mobile for when you're on the go? Maybe you're not at a computer and you're out and you need to write your girlfriend or boyfriend a nice love haiku, but you need ChatGPT. I can't write. I'm not William Blake. I'm not Robert Frost. I need ChatGPT. My entire relationship is built on ChatGPT. <laughs> I wish I could just take my phone and text ChatGPT. At the moment, there is no OpenAI ChatGPT app that I know of. Let's see if we can fix that with a little bit of Python. Okay, so this is what our setup looks like. It all starts with the phone when we create the text message. Then that goes to Twilio. We can then create an HTTP request to FastAPI, which is our application or web server. After that, it's pretty straightforward. It just, that request goes out to OpenAI where we're gonna use one of their language models to create the completion, to answer the question or whatever we asked it through the phone. And then it comes all the way back and arrives in your text messages. In order to send and receive text messages, we're gonna need a Twilio account. Go ahead and sign up, it's free, and you're gonna get about $15 in free credits, which is more than enough to get started here. And you'll use about $2 to buy a phone number. Make sure you write that phone number down, we're gonna need it later. After you've done that, let's go ahead and jump into the terminal. First, we'll create a directory for our project. We're gonna call it GPT SMS. Then we're gonna CD into it and create a virtual environment. This is gonna hold all of the packages that we're gonna install. We'll name it the same as the project, and then we'll activate it by calling source, the name of the environment, bin, and activate. Now that we have a Twilio account, we can create our main file. Call it main. Also create an env file that'll hold our environment variables, more specifically our OpenAI API key. After that, we'll install some dependencies, pip install OpenAI Twilio, as well as fast API. I'm going to include a requirements txt file in the repository that goes along with this video so that you don't have to do this manually and instead you can just do pip install dash r requirements txt and it'll all be installed at once. Let's jump into our project. In our main file we can see that packages are being imported notably fast API and langchain which we'll use down the line. Then we're importing our OpenAI API key and saving it to a variable. We'll instantiate fast API and save it to a variable called app. We'll then create our post endpoint with a path being slash GPT. Now let's take a closer look at this definition here. What is this form? It's a strange syntax, but basically we need this because our data is coming in form fields. And this way, the data that comes in, which has a special encoding, which is different than JSON, is going to be read correctly by fast API. Then we're gonna go ahead and define our chat model by calling chat open AI from Langchain and passing in the model that we want to use. Feel free to use a different model if you'd like. We'll define our prompt template, which will take one input variable called, guess what, input. <laughs> we'll then create the chain that takes the input, formats it, and then sends it to the language model. We can then run it here with chain.run and save that output to a variable. I want to mention that we're using Langchain in this project because we can now extend it. If we were just using OpenAI, we wouldn't be able to add memory add access to a vector store, at agents, we can basically create any kind of custom chain we want at this point. We'll then use a utility from Twilio that allows us to respond to incoming text messages with XML and we'll wrap the output from our LLM chain with it and then send it in the response. The cool feature we get for free with FastAPI is this really nice swagger UI where we can inspect our routes and even try them out. Finally, we'll tell Python that if this file is ran, we'll want to start our Uvicorn server. Now, if you were looking closely, you may have noticed that we're running this locally. It's not on the internet. So how is it gonna work? Well, to figure that out, we need to learn a little bit about webhooks, Twilio, and ngrok. Under the hood, Twilio is using webhooks to basically let our app know when something occurs. In our case, a text message is received. When the text message comes in, Twilio basically makes the HTTP request to the URL that we put in the webhook configuration. And what we're gonna do is use ngrok to create that URL and basically forward all the traffic from port 3000. Once you've got ngrok installed, you're gonna go ahead and go to your terminal and run ngrok HTTP 3000, which is the port that our server is running on. It's then going to give us a URL that we're going to want to copy. Once you got that URL, you're going to go into your Twilio 
console, phone numbers, active numbers, and to the messaging section. And here in the field where it says a message comes in, you're going to paste that URL and add the path to the route we created in the application, which in our case is GPT. And then hit save. Awesome. Now when a text message comes in, Twilio will send a request to our fast API endpoint. Okay, now that we've got everything set up, let's go ahead and run our main.py file and try to send a text message. Here we go. I'm going to have it um, write a love haiku for my girlfriend. Okay, so it's going. Let's see if OpenAI is doing its thing. Okay, it's back. You're going to see this on your um, trial accounts because I haven't upgraded, but you'll see it says from trial, but if you add some a couple dollars, this goes away. Fierce heart beats for you. A flame that burns bright and true. Love forever new. Yo, that's good. Is that good or what I'm sending? Okay, sent. I'm also gonna send a couple hearts just for good measure. <laughs> but I tried to get you back. Mm -hmm. Anyway, did you like the poem that I wrote you? No, it was very cringe. <laughs> fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would what do you mean it was not cringe okay all right let me uh, yeah. do you like my poem zazie yeah she likes it okay love you